Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then I welcome you. If you love watching handbag videos, then definitely hit the subscribe button. But let's go ahead and jump into this video. So today I am coming to you all with another tag video. This go around though, I was actually tagged by the lovely Miss Koi Style to participate in this tag. And Miss Koi Style, I just want to say thank you so much for tagging little old me <laughs> to do this tag. Um, I am very honored to do so because this tag was actually created by two amazing women, y'all. Um, one is Fabulous Irene. I absolutely love Irene, y'all. She is really big in the luxury YouTube world. And it's so crazy because she and I have been following each other for almost my entire YouTube journey. So I am very thankful for her support. And I am so honored to do her tag. Um, she did actually do uh, create this tag in collaboration with Style by Gwenny. And I had first heard about Style by Gwenny from Mrs. Koi Style. And I love her personality, y'all. She has such a fun, bubbly personality. And I look forward to watching her future videos. So let's go ahead and get into the tag, y'all. So the name of this tag is Luxury Handbag Collection Under 5K. So here are the rules of this tag, y'all. You pretty much have to choose five bags. Three of them have to be luxury, and then two of them have to be non-luxury brands within your collection, and they cannot um, total over 5K. So they need to be under 5K as a whole. And then there is a catch. So you cannot choose Louis Vuitton. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Luckily, though, for me, that was not very hard because I don't have a lot of Louis Vuitton in my collection anyways. And I must say, y'all, I do consider all of my bags to be luxury. But according to Google, you know... Google thinks... Let's just say Google thinks otherwise. I actually put my own twist onto this, too. And I only chose bags that I plan on carrying in the upcoming season. So I know some people, they carry their bags all year round, no matter the color or anything. But with me, just to keep some kind of sanity going on in my collection and to keep everything in rotation, I try to wear specific colors around specific seasons, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and get into my luxury bags, y'all. Even though I just said that I'm only choosing bags that I would carry for the fall, this first bag that is up is one that I would carry all year round and that is my Saint Laurent Lou camera bag in the color dark beige I absolutely love this color um I love this bag I do plan on getting another in my collection someday but this is going to be the first bag that I choose and this bag I know when I purchased it it retailed for $12.90 but I think it is going for $13.90 right now, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, um, this is the first bag. Now, the next bag that I chose for my luxury is my Paulin Numero Un Nano in the color black. And this is this brand is a French luxury brand, and I absolutely love this bag, y'all. And it's just gorgeous. Like, it's such a gorgeous bag. And I do look forward to carrying it in the upcoming month. But this is the next bag that I chose. And this bag actually retails for $300. So we will go ahead and uh, subtract that from our monies. <laughs> and, yeah, this is going to be the next bag. So the last luxury bag that I decided to go with is from a brand that I thoroughly love. Like, I absolutely love this brand. And that bag is my MCM Clara in the color Golden Mango. Y'all, I love this bag. And I cannot wait to carry this bag in the upcoming months for sure. Um, this bag does retail for $695. And um, MCM really needs to bring this color back for real, for real. Because, I mean, it's a gorgeous color. I love it. I love it. So, yeah, definitely luxury in my book, and this is going to be the next bag. 
So we will go ahead and subtract this from our money. All right, so those were my three luxury bags. Now I am going to go ahead and go into my non-luxury bags. And when I looked into my collection, this was really hard to do, y'all. It really was. But I think that um, I got some good choices. So the next bag that I decided to choose is my Michael Kors Bedford Legacy Large Grab Tote in the color Burnt Orange. Y'all, this bag screams fall, and I am specifically going to be carrying this bag in October, like, for real. But, y'all, I love this tote. Um, it is a top handle, but it does also come with um, a strap. And that's the thing. When it comes to totes, I don't really care for totes that, that are made this way. But there's just something about this bag that I love, and it will be a forever one in my collection. So... Yeah, this bag actually retails for, I think, $3.58. Let me double check here. Yes. So it does retail for $3.58. So we will go ahead and subtract this bag. We are down to the last bag. And the last bag that I chose is, of course, a Dooney and Burke. I could not leave out Dooney and Burke. So that bag is my large Dooney and Burke Florentine Satchel in the color bardo this bag also screams fall i love it it even screams um winter like this is gonna be like an awesome carry i, I cannot wait y'all i can't wait so this is how she looks take her in and all of her glory oh my goodness she looks amazing I love her. And she retails, I think, for like $4.38 or something like that. Um, I have to look that up and go ahead and subtract that from my money. So, yeah. Those are pretty much the bags that I chose. And that leaves me with like a thousand and some change left. That's pretty amazing in my book. So, I have enough to... Let's see, buy me some more bags and get a burger, buy more bags get another burger, and buy more bags. <laughs> but yes, y'all, that um, concludes my video. And I also want to tag some ladies to do this video as well. Um, so I am going to be tagging LV Lux Girl. I am also going to be tagging Flyboo86 and Amy Elizabeth. I would love it if you ladies would join in on this tag. It is lots of fun. And I will leave the rules down in the description bar below. And then also, too, anyone that wants to participate, please feel free to do so. If you all enjoyed this video, then definitely give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.